hi guys and welcome back so in the last video we ended up our video here where we're supposed to add our firestock database and uh, storage so let's do that really quickly first let's minimize that and then here we've already added authentication so if we go to authentication here we can see that we have one user created here which is the user that we created in our previous video when we had this error okay so the user was created meaning this method here for verifying otp it was successful and we know it was successful because we had this check mark that loading was showing and then we got stuck here because we didn't have a database okay so we have this one user and then let's click on if we click on build and then click on storage that's when we have this storage here so let's minimize that we can get started but before the storage let's first add the cloud faster so let's go back to build and then let's add the faster database Here now we can create database. And then from here you can select the location of your database. Okay. So mostly I just select what comes here first, which is the most recommended, which is closest to you because you cannot change this once you've selected it. Okay. So let's go on ahead and click next. And then here you can start in a test mode or production mode so let's go ahead ahead and start in production mode let's click enable All right, our database is created. So let's head over to the rules. And then here, let's so this allow read write if false, which means there is no access. Nothing is being given access here. So if we change this to allow read or write if true, then everyone else can access this. So we are going to have also another section for the rules, but right now oh, let's just change to what we need to change. So let's not change to this here. Let's only allow read and uh, write access to the people who are authenticated. So we are going to change this allow uh, read write if request dot auth does not equal to now. Okay which means that only authenticated users who have access to read and write but this is also access to the entire database which we need to change later okay we need to have a uh, solid rules for our application so let's go ahead and deploy so that is set for the cloud firestore then we can go back to the database there is our database and then now let's go to storage let's get started as well let's also start in standard mode and then this it will select the default database that we have selected for faster database so let's click done So here also let's go to rules and then here let's also do the same allow read or write if request A request dot auth does not equal to now okay so now let's also publish that's done now we can go back to the files all right now we have a file store 
uh, files to database and uh, storage okay so now we can go back to the application now let's bring this up and then let's stop the application and run it again so while the application is running let's go back to firestore go on uh, authentication we can minimize that and let's delete this user again because we want to redo what we just did delete account then let's bring that up and then bring the code up okay we can go back in the login screen let's test it again so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine let's click that so let's test we can see that the number is coming up here because of what we are doing here so now let's put our otp it's loading and it's successful and it it navigated to the user information screen so great now because uh, our firebase is done and then uh, everything else works because now it, when it went to check inside the file if the user exists it found the database was there but there was no this user that's why here in the otp screen it didn't find the user here so it went straight to the user information screen if the user was there it would have just gotten that data saved first and then go to the home screen okay now it's time to work inside the, the user information screen so here uh, okay maybe let's end this video here because this video was just a quick one about setting up our first firebase database and storage okay so in the next video let's work in the user information screen thank you guys and uh, see you in the next video